I'm about to start cold calling to promote my new Alexander Technique teaching practice and plan on cold calling people like trial attorneys and doctors and therapists and chiropractors and dentists and the like and give them a short pitch about my Alexander Technique services. So for instance, hi there, I'm Luke Ford and I'm a certified Alexander Technique teacher in Beverly Hills offering free consultations for people so that they can learn to notice their patterns of unnecessary tension and how to learn to let that go. For instance, many people get stuck in the fight or flight reflex, which means the head goes forward and the head tips back and the neck stiffens and compresses and the shoulders hunch forward and the whole torso shortens and compresses. A lot of people get stuck there. And I show people how to let that go. So if you're interested, check out my website, Alexander90210. Or give me a call. And I'm offering free consultations. So I'm wondering, should I go to their office? Should I offer to go to their office and give this free consultation? The upside is that I'm hustling for their business. The downside is that that's exhausting. It could leave me waiting. It's a hassle, it's expensive, it's exhausting. On the other hand, if I get a feeling over the time over the phone that somebody is serious, I would be willing to go to them for this free consultation. So I'd much more prefer if they come to me. Now if I go to somebody to give an Alexander lesson, I'm gonna charge between twenty five to one hundred dollars extra top of my regular one hundred dollar fee for an Alexander lesson depending on how far away they live in Los Angeles. But if a potential client is willing to tell me what interests him in Alexander Technique and what he would like to get out of Alexander Lessons, then I'm sold and I guess I would go to him for my free consultation.